Are you guys ready to get spooky? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mike of GTV. And today we're gonna be making Halloween themed cocktails. Strictly Halloween themed martinis, which are all relatively easy to make and are sure to get you and all of your friends really fucked up, which is the only way to impress people nowadays, right? We all out here trying to face our demons. That's what's scary. That's the real scary thing about Halloween. Drink about nine of these and then face your past trauma, bitch. I got about nine daddies to deal with if that's the case and none of them are my blood related father. So let's just go grab some ice to start the first cocktail. What you're gonna need for this drink is a shaker full of ice, absolute vodka. I got absolute strawberry juice for that off color murky look and because it's fucking delicious lemon juice, grenadine, and then gummy eyeballs I found on Amazon. If I remember to, I will be sure to put the link to it in the description. If I forget to, Google gummy eyeballs on Amazon. Y'all lazy as hell. <laughs> and we're gonna use these ingredients to make a bloody eyeball martini. I've never done this before. So I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, it'll just be like everything else I do on this channel. Okay, I'm gonna make all these martinis to start and then we'll do a taste test at the end for all of them. So the first thing we're gonna do is add in our strawberry juice vodka. If you want the measurements, I'll go ahead and put them in the description, but I don't, I don't worry about that when I'm doing it myself. So I eyeball it. If you have a problem with that, do you use a map every time you have to drive somewhere? Or can you just go off your memory? Okay, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lemon juice. If you're using just vodka and not sweetened vodka, throw in a little bit of simple syrup. This is already sweet enough and I don't wanna overdo it. Shake that up. Strain it into your martini glass. Great, next you're gonna get your grenadine and you're not gonna shake it in, you're gonna put it in at the end because you want there to be a diffusion of color. You could just pour it in, but I'm gonna use this spoon that I hate because it's pointless just to control the amount that goes in and because I need to write it off on my taxes. It'll all just sink to the bottom anyway, which is fine. Bitch, fuck it up. Okay. <laughs> and then for the garnish, I'm gonna do something that everybody's gonna be shocked about. I'm gonna use the gummy eyeball candy. Oh my God, Michael's using candy in a cocktail, but I thought he said, shut up. It's fine when it's a garnish. I've said that many times. Because honestly, look how fucking cute these are. Like this is adorable. <laughs> then go ahead and get your poker stick, penetrative tool that you use to garnish things. You could use your dick for all I care. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And you're gonna substitute the candy eyeballs like they were olives in a martini. What the fuck are you looking at? And then once you have that through, just go ahead and place it on your cocktail. No! <laughs> Maybe it's gotta be more towards the middle. Okay, yeah, that's that's cute. All right, bitch, bloody eyeball martini. Honestly, that is so, I just made that shit up. <laughs> and it worked! I did something that worked. Globally disgraced, bartender extraordinaire for the stars. <laughs> Give this to the bitch at the party who you actually don't like. The one who always talks shit about you behind your back. Give this to that bitch and be like, I'm watching you, ho. I'm watching you. Great, we have a success. <laughs> What's next? Okay, this next one gets a little more interesting, but also is extremely simple. We're gonna make a candy corn martini. For this, all you need is three things. Cream, it could be whipped cream in a can. I'm gonna try something crazy. Let me do this. Grenadine, and you could use regular vodka, vanilla vodka. I went the extra mile and infused candy corns with vanilla vodka. Did it do anything? I, I don't really think so, but it looks cool. <laughs> and it gives it the color I need because isn't candy corn just like fondant? So isn't it just like melted sugar in vanilla vodka? Isn't it everything that I always preach is awful and terrible? Am I gonna eat my own words right now? Yes, because I already did it. <laughs> but look at it, it's disgusting. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Let's put it in our bodies. The first thing you're gonna need to do is get your candy corn vodka cold. You don't have to do this. You could literally build it in the martini glass straight, but I am not gonna do that because I want to fucking enjoy this. You probably also should run this through a strainer to make sure all of the little bits of gunk don't get in your cocktail. I'm also not gonna do that because I don't care enough. <laughs> I'm not a good mixologist. I'm a good drinker. Very different things. Shake it up. Oh, that's a pretty orange. Strain it into your glass. Oh my God, cute. Fill this one up relatively high because you're not putting in many other ingredients at all. Then once again, you're gonna put in a very small amount of grenadine at the bottom. Same shit as before. Pour that right in. And now, now we gotta do the top. Now we gotta top it. Ugh, the energy that it takes. <laughs> I got whipping cream because I want it to be thick. I don't need, I don't know if it will work. I'm hoping it does. I'm just like hoping that it floats because if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to remake this. <laughs> I could use whipped cream. I have whipped cream. I know that will work. But I wanna do it like this. Let me clean off the spoon so I don't get red in the whipped cream. Honestly, you know what I could do? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to be smart. I'm gonna try to be like a fucking engineer. I'm gonna whip it. I have a can, I'm gonna try to whip it. You could whip it in a can, right? If I shake the whipping cream in a can, 
Let's just try. I don't even need that much. I mean, it's thick. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I don't know if anything's happening, but I hope it is. Did you whip? Oh, it did something. Let me see if I scoop it. Did I finally find a use for the fucking spoon? Let me see if it will sink. Oh my god, it floats! Oh my god, it floats! Oh my god, oh my god, it floats! Oh my god, it floats! Oh my god, it floats! <laughs> it floats! I need more. I fucking love when things work. Oh god. yes! Because I don't like whipped cream on my cocktails because it gets murky and it looks stupid and it just fluffs everywhere, but this, this I think will be cooler. And I finally found a use for this stupid fucking spoon. I did it. It's slightly sinking on one side, but not that much. I layered a martini. I don't know why I'm surprised. I knew that I could do this. And there we go. We have a candy corn martini. I'm gonna put this over to the side because I have a feeling that it's not gonna be pretty like that long, but I'm gonna count it as a success and move on. What's next? All right, you guys, this next one I call a suck me dry. It's a vampire martini. Let's see if we could go three for three. If I am good at all of these, then nothing. What I've been saying this whole time is true. I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> for this, you're gonna need vodka, raspberry liqueur or a chambord, champagne, simple syrup, and red decorative sugar. First things first, you're gonna get your glass of ice, pour in the vodka, a little bit of the chambord for coloring and sweetener, shake it like a baby that won't stop crying. Put it to the side for a second. Get your glass and we're gonna rim it. My favorite part. <laughs> put your simple syrup on the plate and put your red sugar on another. Dip your glass in the simple syrup. Dip your glass in the sugar. And bitch, fuck it up. Move these out of the way to prevent a mess. Because we may like rimming, but we don't like a rimming that involves a mess. Now we're gonna pour in our mixture. Not all the way though, because we're gonna put something on top. Get your champagne. Add a little bit on top to get it nice and bubbly. Oh my God. And then on Amazon, I found gummy teeth. Little gummy vampire teeth. Amazon has everything. And when I'm stoned on Amazon, I literally find the stupidest shit and I buy it. For this, I'm just gonna literally drop it right on in. You could also use your dentures. I don't know your life. And there you go, a suck me dry. I did three with no issues so far. Bitch. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, this next one is similar but different. Next, we're gonna make a Black Widow martini. For this, you're gonna need your cocktail shaker with ice, add in your vodka, add in your raspberry liqueur, some blue curacao, a splash of lemon juice, shake that up really quick. And then in order to make it black and fun for Halloween, I'm gonna add in some baby black pearl dust. Will this make it black enough? I don't know, I've never used this stuff before. But it's supposed to make it black and sparkly. It's better than fucking activated charcoal. Don't even get me started. For this, you literally need no more than a teaspoon, and that's a lot. Very small amount. Go ahead and stir that in. It's still blue. Okay, um, it could be a fun blue. It could be a fun blue. Calm down, it's fine, everything's fine. Oh, it might've been better if I used a darker liqueur. Oops. Well, let's try it. If it sucks, I'll redo it. Pour it into our glass and see what the fuck happens. Okay. 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 Never mind. Fuck it. Honestly, the other liqueur probably would have been great too, but this is cool. That's like a cool midnight black. You know what? Fuck you. I did it on purpose. A mistake is only a mistake if things don't go right. Bitch, that's a surprise. <laughs> Just like me. That's what my mom says I was when I was born. I'm the happiest oopsie she ever got. Oh wait, fuck. I wanted to rim it. Shit, I wanted to rim it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine, I'm fine. Just like before, you're gonna rim it in the simple syrup. Then I got white sugar, because I thought that would look cool. Oh, this sugar's a little chunkier. It's kind of going everywhere. I'm gonna have, and it's fine. You know what's really scary for the holidays? A bug infestation. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, ookie spooky. <laughs> it's all wet. That's fine. Don't tell your brothers and sisters we're cheating. Honestly, it still looks okay. I'm changing the name though. It is not a Black Widow. It's a... Midnight, a midnight cocktail. Cause it looks like a dark night sky. Bitch, catch me slipping. Uh-uh, catch me fucking slipping. That looks better than I thought. That's better than a pitch black martini. I don't, don't. Whatever, I'm counting you as a fourth success. I have another drink. Did I run out of martini glasses? Why don't I think anything through ever? I have a smaller martini glass. Shut the fuck up. It's going in it and it works. The final Halloween martini we're gonna make is called a witch potion martini. This is also very simple. You're just gonna need a shaker of ice, vodka, Midori, pineapple juice, simple syrup, green decorative sugar, and just because I happen to have it and I wanna try it out, I'm gonna add in some baby green pearl dust to make it like shimmer. Here we go. First up is our vodka. Come in with the Midori. That's the color, bitch. Pineapple juice. This could also be like a really good 
punch bowl, especially if you throw in some dry ice. I know you're all probably pissed I didn't use dry ice. Everybody's probably fingering themselves over the idea of dry ice. Everybody squirts over the thought of smoke coming out of your cocktail. I think it's cool too. I prefer it for like punch bowl scenarios, which I probably will make a video doing. But the thing with dry ice, especially putting it in martinis, is it is very not safe to drink, at least directly before it melts. So putting it in a martini glass where it could easily cut your face and burn, which with my luck and the way I do shit, would probably happen. I didn't include it in the martini video, but hold your horses, calm your tits, finger your clits, it's coming. <laughs> Go ahead and shake this up. Add in a little bit of the baby green shimmer just to make it pretty. It's a gay witch. It watched Hocus Pocus growing up. Tis firm! We're gonna rim it, so be sure to pour your green decorative sugar on a plate. Dip your glass in the simple syrup before dipping it into the sugar. Oh my God, bitch! Oh my God, bitch. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. It's so shiny and shimmery, it looks like Winnie when she exploded. That's fucking cool. I did five cocktail martinis, all a success. I don't know why I'm shocked by this. That's like my whole job. <laughs> I just really like when things go right, even though some threw us a hurdle, but ended up better than expected. So. Okay, are we ready to have fun? This is the best part of my job. I get to do a taste test. All right, I'm gonna do a simple taste test and I'm gonna rate each one from one to five. I have never drank these before because some of them I made up and others I found online and made like minor alterations to fit what I wanted. So let's go ahead and try. This one was the bloody eyeball martini. So let's take a sip. Whoa, strong, but really good. Like I like my martini. It's fruity, but not overly sweet. And if you put the eyeballs in the cocktail glass, by the time you finish it, you could eat the eyeballs for a little extra alcoholic snack. This is how I like my martinis, where it's sweet, but not too sweet. And you could tell that it's really strong because that's how a martini should be. Four out of five. I love it. Next is the candy corn martini, which Honestly, when I first saw it, I didn't think I would like it because I'm not big on cream martini. This is probably going to be a dessert martini, if anything. I'm assuming it's gonna be really sweet, but let's give it a taste. It tastes exactly like a fucking candy corn. It tastes exactly like a fucking candy corn. And the cream even makes it thicker so it feels like you're eating a candy corn. But that's also probably because I went the extra step and infused the candy corn with the vodka. And I feel like it did do something. It tastes like fucking candy corn. <laughs> I'm not a big candy corn fan, but I did the job. I'm gonna give that a three out of five. If you are somebody that loves candy corn, you're probably gonna love that. Or if you're a basic bitch who needs something to post on Instagram. Oh my God, girl! Next up we have the suck me dry. I think I'm gonna love this one because I'm all about vampire. And this one looks really good. It looks like elegant and shit. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and taste it. Okay, it's more bitter, which I like. Y'all know I'm not really a sweet cocktail person. This feels and tastes like a cocktail. Something that you would sip through the night. I think the champagne really adds to it and gives it that overall flavor. This so far is my favorite one, I think. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. Very slightly. The eyeball martini was good too. <coughs> but this one, I just like holding it. I feel fancy. <laughs> Next up we have the midnight, <coughs> midnight cocktail. I have faith that it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. Let's see, hold on. That is fucking awesome. That's a five out of five. How? How? How are, how are you? What, what the fuck? Come here, hold on, what? That's fucking good. <laughs> That's really fucking good. Again, like the bloody eyeball one, it's like sweet, but not too sweet. And it's refreshing, which is why I like it. Oh, that's my favorite one so far. Fuck! And then finally, I think this is gonna be a five out of five. The witch's potion, I think is gonna be a five out of five. I think this one would definitely be a crowd pleaser. Let's go ahead and taste it. Huh, this is great, and you know what else I like about it? If you add in more pineapple juice, it's a cocktail. I would rate this a four out of five. Very on par to the first one. I'm really surprised I like the midnight the best. Out of all these cocktails, which one would you be most excited to try? Which one sounds the best and which one sounds the worst? Let me know in the comments what your order would be. Also, if you make any of these, be sure to tag me on social media so I could repost it at MikeMGTV everywhere. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. And don't forget, I try to go live every Sunday on Twitch, hashtag Sundays. I go live at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST, and I have a podcast with Mac Does It, Messy with Mac and Mike. We go live every Wednesday. Guys, Halloween cocktails! Halloween martinis! This is my shit. I love my job. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Mike from GTV, and you're fucking welcome.